three games. Three games already completed. And now we move on to the fourth one. Yeah, we're back. I'm going on a roll here. You don't see Dark Side Phil going through this. We went through 0 1. We went through 0 2. We've already finished through 0 3, and boy, that was depressing. Now we move on to the final game in the Mega Man Zero series. A game that not only provides closure for the series, but also is insane. Let us begin Mega Man Zero 4. And I've been waiting to do this for a long time. This is Mega Man Zero 4, released in 2005 for the Game Boy Advance. And we're going to be doing this on normal mode. Because in the GBA you have easy and normal. This you have normal by default. Let's begin. The Reploids. They were robots designed to look like humans. These technical marvels were given unique personalities and were intended to be the perfect workers and the perfect partners for mankind. But the wheels of peace between humans and reploids were beginning to grind with halt. The reploids were well designed, perhaps too well. Their humanity began to sow the seeds of rebellion. The rebels were labeled mavericks and feared by their human masters. The humans decided to pit Reploid against Reploid. That was the fate given to them. The Reploids fighting for humanity were never given a choice. Thus the war of the machines began, and the humans just watched. War begot war, and time passed. Even with the construction of the utopian human city Neo Arcadia, the war dragged on. The Mavericks defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia, and now Neo Arcadia is under the control of the criminal Dr. Whale. The former Utopia is now only a shadow of its former glory. Many have started to flee the city. We are one of those groups fleeing from the clutches of Dr. Whale in our caravan. I should've grabbed the faster car. Nage, they're catching up. I know, I know, but this is as fast as it goes. Shoot, Dr. Whale's trying to bring us back. Zero, can you hear me? The enemy is heading for the caravan. Help them. Understood. Commencing mission. Seal, I'll need some help with the trailer. Mission start. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mega Man Zero Four. You're probably also going to notice a lot more, a lot of things different here. But yeah, you have your Z Buster and your Z Saber, but what you'll also notice is new weapon, the Zero Knuckle, which is going to be one of the more important weapons to have. Not to mention, you can also customize yourself with these different parts. Yeah, and parts create like new features. Yep, okay, Y button, B button, L, R, the A button can toss. And this here, the L system. All right, we're good to go. And yeah, you'll also notice another nifty feature this game's got. 
Yeah, because now you can grab onto and grab enemies with the zero knuckle and use their weapons against them. That's Nice, much better. Not bad so far. Zero. I'm detecting heat signatures. Zero, something's coming. Bring the trailer closer. I'll take care of it. Gotcha. Sweet Jesus, A submarine? Damn, these guys are determined. Let's just take it down. Yeah, you're not even that tough, you know? Yeah. The Zero Knuckle is going to be your friend. Believe me, you're going to need it a lot. And like in Zero, One, Two, and Three, the ranking system comes into effect. You will be judged determining not only how skilled you are, but also how you can pull it off. You're judged by your mission, your clear time, how much damage you, how much damage you take, how many enemies you take down, retries, weather, which is a brand new one, and else. It looks like everyone's okay. I'm surprised to see someone crazy enough to drive out here in the middle of, the, in the middle of nowhere. Do you always give lectures to the people you save? Well, thanks anyway. Nage, we don't have time for this. Let's go. You're right, but there's time to say thank you. I don't want the Reploids thinking we're ungrateful. Prepare to leave. I'll be there soon. All right, no good can come of dealing with Reploids. You're human? Yes, we are. Are humans outside of New Arcadia that rare? Zero! Zero? Zero, I'm glad you're okay. It looks like the vehicle's okay, too. Thanks to you both. You saved us, Dr. Seal. Huh? How do you know? Who are you? The name's Nage. I'm human just like you. I used to be a journalist who traveled the world. That's why I heard rumors about you and the Resistance. That you led the Reploids against Neo Arcadia. And are supposed to be very dangerous. Dangerous? We're not... I've heard a lot about you, too. I knew you were in the Resistance when I heard Seal call your name just now. So you're the legendary Reploid Zero. We don't want any strange rumors being spread about us. There won't be. I'm just telling you what I've heard, but others might think differently than me. I'll be seeing you. It's time for us to get going. 
going? Where are you going anyway? If you're human, then why don't you just stay in Neo Arcadia? You put all this together just to escape from there? Just stay there? Because we're human? You must be joking! Wait, you don't know, do you? That place has changed. Didn't you see us getting attacked just now? It's terrible. It doesn't matter anymore. Human or Reploid, it's all the same. Anyone that opposes Whale is treated like a maverick. The evil Dr. Whale who was driven away from Neo Arcadia. He controls all of the energy and production there and everywhere all because some hero defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia. The great sanctuary for us humans is no more. But then that means what we did was... The humans are afraid of being removed if they oppose Whale, so he rules unchecked. As long as they stay quiet, they stay safe. But who knows how long before Whale decides to get rid of them, too. That's why we fled from that place. We're heading for the settlement in Area Zero. Area Zero? There's a human settlement there? Then we'll go with you. Who knows when Whale will strike next? Well, Seal is human, but Reploids aren't welcome. Especially heroes like you. What's that supposed to mean? The settlement is full of people who were caught up in the Reploid War, so they don't take too kindly to Reploids. Humans aren't as strong or friendly as you might think. I won't tell the caravanners that you are the Zero that defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia. Don't get us involved in anything. Talk to you later. This is messed up. All the work that we did up to this point has now been for naught. Humans, huh? Zero, we should get back to the trailer. Right. Everything we did, from zero one to zero three, it's all for naught now. All for nothing. Something about the caravan bothering you? Yeah. I was shocked to hear that all the humans at the settlement hated the Reploids. It's just a... We fought so hard for the Reploids that I didn't know other humans felt that way. Didn't they say the settlement was in a place called Area Zero? That's where we should be heading too. They're struggling to maintain their independence from Whale, and we have to help them. Do what you feel is right. Thanks, Zero. I just need a little more time. Now might be a good time to drop by Servius for some maintenance. After that, come and see me in the commander's room. Oh, before that, I'll save your data, like always. All saved. I'll be here in the commander's room. If you ever want to store your data, just drop by. Hey Zero, you're hanging in there? Need a little work? Those dust clouds are something else. No, I'm fine. Alright, but don't overdo it. Did you try out your Zero Knuckle yet? You probably already know about it, but it's a weapon on board a chip implanted into your hand. It gives you a big strength boost when that comes in handy when attacking enemies or stealing their weapons. It doesn't work for every enemy, but for the ones it does, just finish them off with the Zero Knuckle to grab their weapon. By the way, what's your next move? Seal is looking into Area Zero. I think the humans there need our help. Looks like you've got your work cut out for you. If there's anything I can do to help, don't be afraid to ask. Oh, I almost forgot something important. Enemies sometimes drop parts. You might be able to use some of those to make new chips. If you want to try making one, just let me know. Basically, now we're introduced to a new concept, the chips. These chips pretty much will, will allow you to customize Zero however you like. Hey, Zero. I asked Seal to let me look after the new elf. I'm a little worried if I can do a good job or not. And this is the guy. Hey there, Zero. Have you heard about the weather changer? Let me just briefly explain it. It's an orbiting satellite capable of altering the very weather. It's still a work in progress, but it should be online soon. There are only some areas it can be used in. Depending on the area, a change of weather might make it easier or harder to progress through it. This guy we'll need in order to get our hands on two sub-tanks. That's right. 
No longer needing to new Cyber Elves, we can now be able to have four subtags. Finally! Did you find out anything about Area Zero? Yes, it's not far from here. Mage and the others should arrive there soon. Area Zero is the site in the Maverick Wars where the space colony Eurasia crashed. Many lives were lost there. Area Zero is the painful reminder of a war long past. Mega Man X5. Humans are living there now. Data about Area Zero has been sent from the Resistance base. Since the crash of the space colony, the section has been sealed off, but apparently the land has been renewed in that time and nature is becoming more and more abundant. Nature is coming back to Area Zero? It's said to be due to an environmental system still left active after the crash. It's not much, but it still means hope for humanity. Have you managed to find the human settlement? There was not enough data to pinpoint an exact location. We need to conduct a closer investigation of Area Zero. Zero, can you head out there and check it out? We'll be following in the trailer. Going to Area Zero? Understood. Operator, transport me. All right, coordinates set. How could this be? How could what be? I'm detecting multiple Reploid signals. I think they're Neo-Arcadian. No, they're Whales Reploids. What are they doing in Area Zero? Operator, get me over there. Hurry! All right, ready for transfer. Zero, be careful. So this is Area Zero. Seal, are you seeing this on the monitor? Yes, I'm seeing it now. That's amazing. I didn't know such a natural place ex still existed. Seal, what's my mission? Oh, sorry. The enemy is in the colony remains. The entrance should be up ahead. Understood. I'm in pursuit. What could Dr. Whale be up to? Yep. And you're also hearing music from a soundtrack. Yeah, but I kind of like the remastered, the remastered version from Zero Four Physis. I still like how it's integrated into the soundtrack. It's just that good. I know I will be back here, that much is certain. Okay, looks like we get a boss fight. Should have known there'd be trouble. That's the end of that. 
despite getting hit only like once in the fight, I actually did pretty decently. Nice. Let's continue. Now let's find out what's up. Someone's been busy. But this is taking forever! I guess I don't have much choice but to follow Lord Whale's plan. It looks like I missed a grunt. Yeah? Who dares call me a grunt? I don't know, me. Who are you? And where did you come from? I'll teach you to come in here and insult me! Yeah! You're a noisy one. Yeah! Now I'm mad! Come on, I'll show you! Ka -ka! Don't steal all the fun, Coca Petri! Who are these guys? Yes, I want to be the one to light his fire. Get out! Quiet! He's gonna be my dinner! You're the one that needs to be quiet. You weren't back on time, so we have to come find you. By the way, who is that Rapaloid standing over there? Ooh, that is Z. His name is Zero. There was data on him in Lord Whale's master plan. Mino Magnus, try to speed it up next time. Zero? So this Rapaloid's our target? Then we should take care of him here and now! <sighs> Time's running out. Leave him. We're only here to investigate Area Zero. You don't have clearance to fight. Oh, come on, Commander Kraft! You aren't saying we should just leave the enemy, are you? We need the power of Ragnarok to destroy this much nature. Once Ragnarok has begun, one Reploid will be beneath our concern. There's no time to deal with him now. Destroy the nature in Area Zero? Just what are you trying to do? My name is Kraft. I am a soldier of New Arcadia. No, Lord Whale. We, Lord Whale, requires all nature be destroyed. Lately, there are a lot of impudent humans thinking the world outside New Arcadia is better. That's why we must make sure it isn't by burning it. Then nobody will have delusions of escaping Lord Whale. Who would choose nature over Lord Whale anyway? I can't believe it. Humans are so foolish. Ooh, Commander Kraft is the... Is the leader of the Ironjar, the Eight Warriors. The eight of us will destroy the environment. Then as part of Lord Whale's plan, we will destroy Area Zero as well. That is Ragnarok. You see, Zero, there's nothing you can do. You're no threat to Lord Whale. You'll come to understand. This world belongs to Lord Wen. One person can't change the world. Heroes are a thing of the past. Time to go. Ragnarok has begun. The Einhajar. This is bad. Zero, are you okay? Seal, is that you? Did you get all that? Yes, I can't believe Dr. Whale would do that! We've arrived in Area Zero Two. We found the settlement. Return to the trailer! Understood. Operator, bring me back. Commencing transport. Transferring in two, one... Welcome back. Welcome back, Zero. It seems the Reploids weren't aware of the Settlement's presence. I know Nage warned us not to go to the Settlement, but we need to tell them about Ragnarok. With Whale's army so close, we can't afford to risk alerting them to the Settlement's presence by transferring you there. You'll have to go on foot, just exit the trailer and keep going right. It shouldn't take you long to reach it. Oh, and Zero, 
We just received data on an all-new Cyber Elf from the Resistance base. New Cyber Elf? They've been conducting research on Cyber Elves. We've got one of the new ones in the room next door with Alouette. Pick it up from her. She also has the operating manual, so ask her for more details about it. I will. When you're ready, head out to the settlement. I'll catch up to you later in the trailer. So it seems now that we only have, don't have much choice now, do we? Let's pay a visit to Alouette. Oh, Zero! Check this self out! Its eyes are closed because it's still a baby. It just came. Oh yeah, Zero, I came up with a name. How's Quora do it? Quora? Huh. Interesting name, but I kind of like that choice. Yeah, it's here you can also determine the name. However, the name that you choose actually does depend on how the Cyber Elf goes about. Believe me. You could choose to default it if you want, so I think Cora is best. Really? That's great. I'm glad you like it. Cora means believe. Not a bad name at all. Okay, Zero, I'm gonna tell you how the elf works. It came with a manual. Want me to explain? Sure. Okay, I'll explain. This new elf can copy the abilities of other elves. In fact, it can handle up to three at a time. It's still a baby though, so you can't use all of them yet. Give it e-crystals to help it grow. Here's where it gets a little tricky. The elf has something called a max level. If the three ability levels combined exceed the max, then you lose a point for each level over the map. In other words, as long as you keep the combined levels below the max level, you don't lose any points. There's probably also a way to raise the max level. When you want to help the elf grow, come on by. Well, we may as well do that right now. All right, evolve the elf. This is at level one. I know you're hungry. That should do it. We now have a Cyber Elf by our side. And its effects depend. Hey you! Stop! You're a Reploid. This isn't the place for you. Get out of here. Wait! We have to tell you something. We told you to get out! Whale is going to destroy this place! If you leave now, there's still time! Hmm. Another Reploid War? First the Maverick Wars, then the Elf Wars, now Whale? How long does this world have to suffer while you carry out your petty wars? Huh? Just leave us alone. This settlement was built by humans, for humans, and we'll protect it by ourselves. But it's dangerous for you to fight Whale alone. So you like humans and Reploids to join forces? Don't be a fool. It's you Reploids and your wars that got us into this mess. We have no reason to trust you. But we were just trying to protect you. Save your breath. Nash said we wouldn't be welcome. But... We told them what we know. It's up to them to decide what to do with that. Isn't that right, Nash? That's right. I'm going back to the trailer. The enemy will be making their final move soon. That's messed up. Then no humans had to be douchebags. Zero, I... Worrying won't stop Whale's army. You can only do your best and hope that's enough. Alright then. Let's do what we can to protect the nature around Area Zero. I hope the people in the settlement will come to realize we're not trying to hurt them. I'm sure they will. I found signals for Whale's army. There are eight units. Ragnarok has begun. Feeding data to the screen now. Choose mission? Let's choose our mission. These are the areas you can go. And these are your missions. You'll also notice, like, some areas in circle. Well, to let you know... They're needed in order for you to get your hands on the EX skill. So basically, this feels like a Mega Man game. Mega Man 04 has decided to be like Mega Man slash Mega Man X. So we will begin the first mission shortly. So that's going to be it for, for part one of Mega Man 04. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It means big time. My plan is that I will do at least like two or three Mavericks at a time and then continue from there. 
I will see this through to the end. And unlike DSP, I get the job done. Always. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.